15 months ago, we could not have imagined the situation we would find ourselves in today. It's difficult to believe where we were, uh, but also how far we've come. While the impact of the pandemic on individuals, families and businesses has been huge, it's also important to recognise how resilient and adaptable we have been as species, finding ways to manage and to survive. The fact that scientists have adapted medical practices, introduced vaccinations and tests, shows just how valuable knowledge, learning and inquiry are in helping keep people alive and allowing society to function. And that's what we are celebrating today, learning and achievement. It's vital that we continue to applaud and recognise your successes, particularly over the last year when your education has not followed a traditional model. The fact that you have been able to work hard, make progress and enjoy success is a testament to your resilience and your adaptability. But it is also important to acknowledge the role that your teachers have played in helping learning to continue. Many of your teachers have not heard of Microsoft, had not heard of Microsoft Teams before COVID. None of them would have ever used it, never mind being able to imagine delivering online lessons live. They have worked tirelessly over the last year to ensure that you could learn if you were isolating, keep going during lockdown and make sure that you never fell behind. I've said this before and I will keep saying it, but one of the things that has struck me at QE is just how much your teachers care about you. They care about you as students, they care about you as people and they put huge efforts into making sure that you succeed. There are also your families to thank. They've supported you emotionally and academically in this challenging time. I imagine many parents and carers never expect to be required to help their child navigate year nine maths or physics. Take a moment to thank your teachers, your friends and your families for being there for you over the last few months. Lastly though, this is about celebrating your successes. Congratulations to all the prize winners. It is an incredible achievement to win an award that recognises your hard work and abilities. You have done exceptionally well and, sh and should reflect on your success with pride. But to everybody, this is a celebration of how we have all pulled together, adapted and survived the challenges of living through a global pandemic. Uh, welcome to the Art Department's prize giving. We're hugely delighted to uh, um, uh, announce that uh, Lily Teague is the winner for Year 9 Art. Um, she was a great leader in her group, a phenomenal artist, uh, always going above and beyond with fantastic skills. Uh, well done Lily Teague, Year 9 Art Prize. Uh, and the runner-up for Year 9 Art is Robbie Jarvis. Robbie is consistently excellent in all his art activities. During lockdown he created amazing artwork independently. Uh, well done Robbie Jarvis, uh, Year 9 runner-up. And the winner of the Year 10 Art Prize goes to uh, Amelia Dalton. Uh, Amelia makes outstanding architectural drawings and always backs that up with an incredibly creative sketchbook. Well done, Amelia Dalton, uh, Year 10 Art. And the runner-up for Year 10 Art is Anouk Hipkin. And now Anouk's strong work throughout Year 10 and at the start of Year 11 shows fantastic experimentation and a wonderful visual style. Well done, Anouk Hipkin, runner-up for Art Year 10. And the winner for Year 10 Graphics is Mina Ahmed. Uh, Mina is a hard-working and very dedicated student who always creates excellent work. Well done, Mina Ahmed, winner of Year 10 Graphics Prize. And the runner-up for Year 10 Graphics is Orson McAleer. Now, Orson is awesome at graphics, building on an excellent Year 9, hard-working Year 10, and is already a leader in Year 11. Orson McAleer, runner-up in Year 10 Graphics. And the winner of the Year 10 prize for textiles is Ella Davis. Ella is always highly committed and a very diligent student. She makes innovative and creative responses to all our textile projects. Well done, Ella Davis, winner of the Textiles Prize. And the runner-up for Year 10 textiles is Daisy McClintock. 
Uh, Daisy is a highly motivated student who works so hard out of lessons and always creates amazing results. Well done, Daisy McClintock, winner of the Textiles Year 10 Runner-Up Award. Toby Shrevenson, well done. You got the Year 10 Award for being an half decent scientist. Biologist specifically, keep it up. And uh, Will Wadler, I teach you obviously. In class, sometimes you're slow to do work, but the work you do do is of really high quality. So keep grafting and you'll do grand. Well done. The winner of the Business Studies Prize uh, this year is Olivia Bell and that is for consistent hard work over the year, producing some really good quality work, listening really well to advice and gaining her distinction grade. The runner-up is Jake Perry uh, for exceptional business studies chat and business studies knowledge, always bringing a smile and a cheerful face to the business studies lesson. So the chemistry prize for year nine going into year 10 now we haven't done that much assessment um, for COVID reasons, like in all subjects, um, but there's two students who've done outstandingly well. The runner up for the prize is Elodie Heath, well done Elodie, and the winner is Mary Gibbard. Outstanding work from both of you. So the chemistry prize for year 10 going into year 11, um, there's been a lot of outstanding work from students. Um, the runner-up for this prize is Hannah Clark. Well done, Hannah. Um, and the winner of this prize is Alex Quinn. Excellent from both of you two. Um, outstanding um, scores that you've been getting. Congratulations to Katie Charlton for winning the Year 9 Dance Award. Her focus and concentration and performance has really improved throughout the year and she can now dance with full commitment and energy and performance. Well done, Katie. Congratulations to Tabitha Robson as the runner-up for the Year 9 Dance Award. She's shown a high level of focus and commitment throughout the year and we've been really impressed with her creativity and level of technique. Well done, Tabitha. Congratulations to Lauren Trattles for winning the Year 10 Dance Award for her excellent level of commitment and dedication throughout the entire year. She's really grown in her confidence in group work and for sharing her ideas. Well done, Lauren. Congratulations to Lucy Hardy for receiving the runner-up for um, the Year 10 Dance Course. Lucy's confidence and movement memory has really improved over the year. She's shown excellent leadership skills when working in part, as part of a group as well. So very well done, Lucy. Okay, so our winner for the Drama Award for Year 9 is somebody who um, has shown a really positive attitude throughout the whole of the course. Um, we've been really impressed with how curious and eager to learn about drama and theatre you've been and your passion for performance and that person is Isaac March. Well done! And our runner-up for Year 9 is somebody who has also really impressed us just with their eagerness to learn about theatre and their hard work, how engaged you were all the way through and your amazing positive attitude. And that is Emily Carney. Well done. The winner of the Drama Award in Year 11, New Year 11s, is somebody who has been incredibly supportive of their group throughout the devising process. Hard work and commitment shown all the way through lockdown, all the work we've done, and um, has just been so creative and eager throughout the whole process. So we've been so, so impressed with Jake Bradbury. Well done. The runner-up for the Drama Award in Year 11 is somebody who has just worked so hard all the way through, always eager to learn more, really positive leader in your group who's just come up with so many brilliant ideas this year. And you're somebody who's always been keen to ask for feedback and learn how you can do even better, which has just really impressed me. And that person is Sam McVeigh. Congratulations. Welcome 
welcome to the Queen Elizabeth High School Awards for Design and Technology. Lovely to have you with all with us tonight. Nice to see that Mr Brown was also dressed up for the occasion as well. Okay, let's think, get things going. So we've got the Year 9 Runner-Up Award is... And the runner-up... It's For Year 9 Excellent Progress and Designer Skills is... Daisy Denbury. Come on down please, Daisy. I'm afraid Daisy can't be with us today. She's in maths at the minute. Mm. <laughs> okay, moving on quickly. New Year 9. New Year 9, sorry. And the winner is... The winner for Year 9. Outstanding Achievement in Design and Technology is... Toby Stevenson. Come on, Toby, come and get your award, please. This isn't going well. I'm afraid Toby can't be with us today. He's Toby. currently up on the mugger doing pingy. <sighs> so, yeah. Well, yeah, they definitely have some of these in to get the awards. It's got to be, Excellent. yeah. They'll be all packed. So, Excellent. Year 10, runner-up award. So I'm pleased to announce the Year 10 runner-up award for consistently high levels of effort and strong performance across all areas of design, of design and technology is... Sarah McMillan, well done Sarah! Sarah again, sadly can't be with us today. I believe she's in English. Oh, and this should be the pinnacle of her career. Yeah. yeah, somebody talking to me. Okay, so, year 10 a winner is... The big one. The big one, the one we've all been waiting for. Do you know who it is? Not a clue. Yeah, me the winner, can't beat you. <laughs> for year 10 or even new year 11, for consistently high levels of effort and strong performance across all areas of design and technology is... Elspeth Corner, well done Elspeth, come and get your awards! Just don't tell her she can't be here as a god. Sad days. <sighs> well done to all the winners folks. Well done. See you next time. See you next time. Bye now. So it gives me great pleasure to announce the winners for English Lit and English Language for this year. So our runners up are, for Year 9, it is Ben Scott. And the winner for, for Year 9 English Language is Isaac March. And so our winners for Year 10 are, the runner up is Jake Perry. And our overall winner is Tyler Brown. And we just want to say a huge well done to all of you. Well deserved and a lot of hard work and effort put into it. Wow. And now to our English Literature winners. So again, the runner-up is Blake Dixon. So well done to you, Blake. The winner overall is Martha Cannon. And for you guys both, it's been a lot of hard work and effort, and we're really impressed with your dedication. And for year 10, we decided that our runner-up was going to be Sky Twos, and the winner is Amber Hardy. So huge well done to all of you. If we've mentioned you, well done for your hard work and effort, but also well done as a year group as well. Fantastic. Well done. to students who are always working hard both in class and at home. Um, they're always reaching the challenge questions and attempting to do those and being successful in those as well. And so the runner-up is Sophia Burley, well done, and the winner is Matthew Gilbert. So for the Geography Award for Year 10s, both students are very deserving of this award. Um, they have put a huge amount of effort into their online learning. Um, back in the classroom, they've taken an active part in class. They've got on with the work nice and quietly and have been a joy to teach. So well done. Uh, the runner up is Jacob Kenmere and our winner is Aaron Armstrong. Congratulations to you both, well done. Um, the Health and Social Care 
awards for the celebration evening are as follows so i will run it up um, for her excellent attitude towards the subject from the very beginning of the year and a very mature response to feedback goes to lucy hardy and our winner of the health and social care award for her fantastic work ethic from the very first day she started the course and her brilliant attitude and outstanding coursework across the whole year so far goes to Hannah Clark. So well done. On behalf of the History Department, I'd like to say congratulations to Charlotte Connolly for winning the History Prize for Year 9. Charlotte, you've been an exceptional student all the way through Year 9 and you should be really proud of how you've approached your studies throughout the year. We've all been very impressed with the way you started GCSE History as well and sort of the contributions that you're making to class. So well done on an exceptional year. On behalf of the History Department, I'd like to say congratulations to Ella Varty for being the runner-up for the History Prize for Year 9. Ella, you've worked really hard over the last year. Your enthusiasm for the subject is fantastic. And I know from having just taught you for a few weeks in the New Year 10 course, what a fantastic student you are. You are. And your enthusiasm and passion for the subject is absolutely great. So congratulations on winning this prize. On behalf of the History Department, I'd like to say congratulations to Jacob Chrysler for winning the Year 10 History Prize this year. Jacob, this year you've been a fantastic student and what we've been really impressed with is the way that you've used the feedback from your assessments to help you improve in history. So congratulations and well done on a fantastic year. On behalf of the History Department, I'd like to say congratulations to Erin Lister for winning the Runners-Up Prize for the Year 10 History Award. Congratulations Erin, you've enjoyed a really successful year in history and you've worked tremendously hard throughout the whole of the year and we really look forward to seeing this continue into next year. So well done on your well deserved prize. Just past the fire door. Now hack the main train. Crack Mr Todd's password. Then I'll have the award when I list all to myself. So, oh, oh, an email's just arrived with it. And here's the envelope with the nominations. For the Year 9 award. And the runner-up goes to Matthew Gilbert. For an excellent year, well-focused and ready for all the challenges that were thrown towards him. And the winner, Martha Kershaw. Excellent hard worker and a great problem solver throughout the year. Well done. And on to year 10 IT. We'll have the nominations here. And the runner up close second is Jake Perry. Congratulations, Jake. Great performance throughout the year. OK, and good effort and good use of skills throughout the course so far. Well done. And the winner, Finley Forster. Ever so organised, such a hard worker, all the time, through thick and thin, and an excellent problem solver. Well done, Finley. And finally, Year 10 Computing Awards. OK, this was a tough one. Who's it going to be? Open up the envelope. Who's it going to be? And our runner-up is Alex Quinn. Nothing phases Alex. And he's a great all-round computing student. And our winner is, drumroll, Eden Osborne. And he's got some of the best questions I've ever been asked in all my years of teaching. Well done, Eden. Bye. So the prize for this year's French award goes to David Cook for your passion for French, your love of languages, really pleased that you're doing French and Spanish for GCSE uh, and this is for all your hard work and commitment throughout the year. And David, you've got that extra homework to do over the summer. Uh, the runner up is Iris Thorpe for your willing contribution in class, your outstanding ability in French. Well done both on the Year 9 French award. The Year 9 German Award, you know that I would like to give everybody this award for continuing GCSE, but after much deliberation, Wilf Dakin, you are the prize winner for excellent participation throughout Year 9 and in New Year 10. Your enthusiasm for German is amazing. Um, and the runner-up is 
Mary Gibbard, excellent work in German throughout, really pleased you're doing two languages for GCSE. Mary, well done on all the progress that you've made this year. And the Year 10 New Year 11 award goes to Alistair Lulo for outstanding ability and understanding uh, the ability to produce French at a really high level. Alice, Mr. Harbron says you're all, always willing to give uh, all the answers in class and you've scored full marks in all of the assessments as well. The runner-up prize goes to Amelia Dalton for your consistently excellent work in class and at home and for the keen interest that you always show in class. Well done everybody on those awards. Uh, Martha, I've given you this prize for general all-round performance. Looking at marks, you've just edged it ahead of everyone else. Really by one or two, there's so many people that are in, the, in contention for this. But not only achievement, but also character, your relentless energy for the subject, all of that stuff. Fantastic work during the whole year. Well done. Hi, Sophia. Um, you've put in a fantastic performance during this year. Um, it was so hard to decide um, in terms of your enthusiasm for the subject, you know, absolutely flawless and your achievements been so high, um, it was really a case of people edging it by just one or two marks that separated those people at the top this year. Fantastically well done for everything. Kira, just to say a huge well done for all your hard work and enthusiasm this year. You really are a gifted and talented hispanist and we look forward to seeing how you're going to further develop your, your skills. Um, your enthusiasm for the language, your interest in lessons, second to none. Felicitaciones. Elodie, hi, hola. An impressive start to GCSE Spanish. We're really looking forward to seeing how your talent develops. You've done really, really, really well. You've come very highly recommended. Um, well done, keep up the hard work. Hola Eden, you are a gifted and talented Hispanist, really impressed with how you're developing and the work that you're covering at GCSE. It is of an unprecedented standard. You really are doing extremely well. Keep up all the hard work, keep watching all the videos, maintain your enthusiasm. It's great to teach you. Felicitaciones. Hola Izzy, you continue to impress us with your interest and motivation in Spanish. Please maintain all of that enthusiasm moving forward into next year. Felicitaciones. Yeah, there's some great work that's gone on in maths this year, so well done to everybody who's been working really, really hard. I've been inundated with nominations from the maths staff and it was really, really difficult to narrow it down just to two winners in each year group. In year 10, the winner is Harvey Timms for outstanding academic achievement in maths. And the runner up nominated by Miss Awan is Summer Newton for excellent work ethic in maths this year, always trying her best and giving maximum effort every single lesson. For year 11, Alice DeLolo won for outstanding achievement again in maths this year. And the runner up is Morgan Ramsey Schley again for superb effort, achievement, attitude and behavior in maths this year. Congratulations. So Imogen Haslam has won the first prize for Year 9 Music and congratulations Imogen. There are reasons I give prizes uh, and it's not always the same for different subjects. So although in your case you are clearly an extremely able musician, there are other reasons that I've chosen for you to win the first prize. And it is really down to your relentless positive attitude in music. So obviously you're a very classy saxophone player and you've got a great attitude to learning new theory concepts and a great desire to get that right. But it's also the way you work in the ensembles and the group work and encourage the others and show them that you appreciate their skills and listen to their ideas. So it's, it's, a, it's a prize for the whole year, not just for one particular skill or one particular test. You've played well, you've done well in theory, but your attitude as a whole, it's about your positive approach to learning that's got you this prize. 
And the second prize, the runner-up prize, goes to Robbie Palmer. And congratulations, Robbie. Again, you've won the prize for a variety of skills. Of course, you've been very positive in my lessons too. You're a very versatile musician. You play a range of instruments and in a range of styles. And again, you're very considerate of others. You don't always uh, volunteer the answers before others have had a chance to think, even though you clearly know the answers. And I know I can come to you for um, confirmation of that as we um, progress through the question. But also, your ability to pick good friends is a really important skill as a musician. You work well with others, you encourage others, um, just as uh, Imogen did for the first prize. But um, I think that uh, your parents would be really pleased uh, for you that, uh, that you mix well with others and you choose good friends and you choose good musicians to work with. So you're a wise head on young shoulders. Year 10 prize into year 11. And Sam McVeigh, you've won the first award here. And the reason, Sam, that I've picked you up, and there'll be no surprises uh, from the rest of the class, is that you will possibly, and listen carefully to my words here, because uh, I probably won't repeat it, you are possibly the most thorough student I've ever had. So you will take great pride in reading ahead, reading around the subject, and uh, finding out what's coming up. You always know what set work's coming up next. You always know what's in my mind before I've spoken it. And sometimes when I ask a, a leading question, you will repeat back to me words you've never heard because you've gone and checked out the videos that I made for a different year group. So you're extremely thorough, extremely hardworking. But most of all, none of this is driven by grades. So I know you like doing well, I know you like getting 100%, I know you like uh, getting really good test results, but I don't sense that that is your motivation. I sense that there is an enjoyment of learning for learning's sake, and that is something that means that I think you could be given any job in any field and be guaranteed to do it well. So congratulations, Sam, you're going to be fine in life. The runner-up prize for Year 10 is Samantha Bull. Congratulations, Samantha. Uh, you are every teacher's worst nightmare because I will say something and then six months later you will quote it back to me and you'll say, but sir, you said in March uh, last year that a pedal is a repeating note under a changing harmony, but you didn't say that it had to be dissonant. So uh, you are a stickler for detail, Samantha, and uh, the reason that you've been picked for the prize is that you will not let go of a fact until you've thoroughly understood it. So you keep pressing the why button. But why, sir? Why, why does that work? Why does that mean that? And you won't stop until you've got the answer that satisfies you. And again, again, I think that's a great skill to have for life. Congratulations. <laughs>
you have all done amazingly well. It's been a tough year for PE uh, with different circumstances, um, and you've kind of adapted that very, very well. So I want to say thank you for that. Um, obviously, there's only two people who can get awards. Um, the runner-up um, this year we've gone for Jacob Christa. Um, Jacob had an excellent attitude in practical PE and has done really well in his theoretical PE as well and what was very active on, in the online lessons as well, uh, doing all the challenges and things like that. So we've gone for Jacob Christo's runner-up and the winner goes to Olivia Bell. Uh, Olivia was do, again has done fantastic in terms of attitude in practical PE and also in her test results as well so she's had a fantastic year. Alright, thank you very much. The runner up goes to someone who has shown excellent effort and commitment to the course from the start right all the way through, never really dropped once and that goes to Robert Scott. Well done Rob. The winner goes to somebody who is just an absolute example, uh, couldn't ask for anything better. She turns up to every lesson on time, she works really hard, she always wants to do that little bit extra, she's keen to know more and to learn more. And the winner is Ali Seymour. Well done, Ali. Okay, I'd like to let you know the award winners for physics this year. So in year nine, we had two students who are both brilliant all round. They put loads of effort into their work and they uh, just uh, were so enthusiastic. That's Isaac March and Martha Cannon who got the winner's award because she also made a geothermal model as part of her presentation which was absolutely magnificent so well done Martha. In year 10 our runner-up was Sam Todd for a most amazing year's work culminating in a fantastic result in his uh, test end of year test amazing and also the winner is Neve McCauley for her amazing dedication to drop in never giving up working extremely hard, asking questions, and massively improving her grade. Well done, Neve. So the prizes for PSHE, the, the most important subject on the curriculum of course. Um, first of all, um, to, to the new year 10, um, really enjoyed teaching you this year, a variety of different topics we've looked at of course, relationships, sex, um, health and well-being, big focus on that and also um, a polit politics section as well and the, the runner-up um, has really excelled across all of those um, areas and had some really good interesting points to contribute. So well done Aidan Dixon. Really enjoyed getting to know you, Aidan, uh, this year through your uh, PSHE work, and I'm sure we'll do some great stuff in the future as well. The winner, though, really um, set itself apart in the in the politics section. Um, and it's a really brilliant ideas, and uh, you know, I really think Ella, uh, you've got a great future ahead of you in politics. I think that might be where you're you're thinking of heading. Uh, so the winner is Ella Varty, and uh, did fantastically well. Um, really proud of the the, the the stuff you've done this year, and you should be too. So so well done. Um, so those are the winners for the new year 10. So the new year 11 awards um, for, for PSHE, again a really important year for PSHE. Uh, you've done fantastically well um, to get this far and, and you know, working through um, difficult circumstances, promoting health and well-being through lessons and through um, the um, tutorial programme. Um, so we've enjoyed getting to know you again a little bit more more depth this year and we'll, we'll continue uh, with that next year of course but just to recognise the work so far of um, runner-up Eve to Groot who's done fantastically well, really enjoyed listening to your views and opinions and uh, the winner in year 11 is Luke Gibson St. Clair. Um, did very well throughout the, the course right from the start in year 9 but, but it's really nice to be able to uh, reward you in year 11 and look forward to hearing more from you, from you all but in particular those two students as well next year so congratulations everyone, well done. In the Year 9 into Year 10 Religious Studies Award goes to Archie Aitken. Archie is a really deep thinker. He thinks in a very sophisticated way and has made some terrific contributions to discussion uh, during the year. So well done Archie. And the winner is Noah Molinos. Congratulations Noah. You have been a star student uh, last year and beginning this year. Uh, again, a very deep thinking student, 
has uh, a lot of fantastic ideas to contribute to discussion. Um, and Noah was particularly excellent at participating during the online learning that we did. He was someone who always wanted to be engaged with that learning as well. So congratulations, Noah. And the runner-up for the Year 10 going into Year 11 Religious Studies Award is Lewis Davison. Lewis has worked incredibly hard this year. He's very, very conscientious. Uh, his progress has been excellent. And he's been very, very dependable in terms of contributing ideas and responses during lessons. Um, he's also someone who works really well and cooperatively with his peers, which is a really nice quality to have. And the winner is Mina Ahmed. Mina really engages with the, the topics that we've studied in religious studies at a very, very high level. She's always trying to think beyond uh, if you like, what's on the face of things and think uh, and develop her ideas further. Again, she's made excellent progress this year because she's been very tenacious about really wanting to develop her understanding and her thinking throughout the year. So congratulations, Mina. because they've been really consistently excellent the whole year and um, they've had loads of achievement points and they've worked really hard and put in lots of effort so for my runner-up it's going to be Hannah Devlin well done Hannah Woo! Um, for the winner this student has also had an amazing amount of achievement points he is such a nice person he's very friendly gets on with everyone again he's put in so much effort and consistently he's been excellent for the full year so the winner of the Pastoral Leader Award is Michael Spark. Well done, Michael. Hello, um, I'm just here to present the Pastoral Leader Award for Year 9. Um, it's been an incredibly difficult year for Year 9, starting a new school, having the break in the middle, but they've all done extremely well. Um, it was really difficult to choose uh, just two people, um, but I've chosen um, for the runner-up, Emily Hinchcliffe. Um, talking to staff, looking at various bits and pieces in terms of information we've got about how well she's done. Um, she's had a fantastic year. Um, and for similar reasons, um, Josh Hall has won the, uh, has won the prize um, for pastoral leader because of the great year he's had, effort in all these lessons and achievement points. Thanks, have a good summer. I just wanted to say a really special thank you to the junior mentors. Um, this group of students should have taken seven weeks to complete the training, but because of lockdown, um, we actually took a seven months um, of mixture of in school, online, um, and they just showed great resilience throughout and enthusiasm for the programme. Um, this is a group of young people who are dedicated to um, supporting other young people in school, and I'm really proud of them. Thank you. In September, we are looking forward to welcoming you all back to the new school building. In the meantime, have a lovely summer break.